Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. My name is Chris. If you're new here, we look at all kinds of jackets from companies like Arcteryx, Rab, Patagonia, Heli Hansen, as well as a few other things. I have a ton of videos here on this channel, so if there's something you're looking for, please use the playlists. I have everything kind of organized in playlists here for you to help you navigate and find your way around because if you just come to the channel and scroll through videos there's so much stuff and it's you're gonna probably have a hard time finding something specific so I have a playlist for each individual company as well as playlists for each individual kind of type of jacket whether it be a hard shell soft shell a fleece jacket a down insulated or a synthetic insulated jacket I have playlists for all these different things to help you find your way around and find what you're looking for so again thank you very much for checking out the video um, please subscribe to the channel take some time look around hopefully you'll find something that can help you out so today we are doing a video on the Rab Latak Mountain Gore-Tex Pro Hard Shell. So this thing is serious. This is an awesome hard shell. If you're looking for a hard shell that's going to be durable, it's breathable, that's going to protect you from hail, sleet, rain, snow, wind, <laughs> you name it this is gonna do it this is an awesome awesome hard shell from Rab I really like this piece um, it has a lot of nice features on here and I mean it's it's a pricey it's an expensive hard shell um, but again I really feel you're, you get what you pay for here this is this is it if you're up into some serious mountain activities climbing uh, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, whatever you want a durable, strong, hard shell, this is it. All right. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to look at this jacket and we're going to tell you all about it. Um, now, uh, just for your reference, I am six foot two, 215 pounds, and this is a size extra large. Now, when it comes to hard shells, hard shells are always sized a little larger. Um, simply because they're made to be worn over top of other insulating layers. Um, we're going to talk about layering a little bit later here in the video. I have two jackets here that I'm going to show you um, how to layer with them. Um, this is the Rab Cirrus um, Alpine jacket, which is a, a lighter weight synthetic insulated jacket. And this is the Arcteryx Thorium AR, which is a pretty heavy weight, a heavier weight uh, down insulated jacket. So I'll show you those two jackets underneath this and how it all fits. Right now I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath this. So you can see that, you know, I have some room in here. Now this is not huge on me, okay? I have put on some serious hard shells like this that are huge on top of me when I'm just wearing a t-shirt, okay? Um, this one, it is big. I definitely have room in here, but it's not crazy big, okay? So um, while you can see how this fits me with just a t-shirt on underneath, all right, it's not bad. Um, sometimes I have gotten a size down uh, to a large, in a, in a hard shell if I'm looking to wear it maybe in warmer weather where I'm not wearing a lot of layers underneath it. Especially if it's more of a regular fit and not such a trim fit. This one kind of is in between. This is not, you know, I mean this definitely has room underneath it, but it's not huge. So it's, it's really nice as a, a really um, higher end, upper end, a hard shell that's pretty flexible as far as you know if you want to wear a t-shirt or you want to wear something heavy underneath it. I, I really kind of like this. Um, okay so this jacket basically has some nice big velcro zips here on the sleeve and the sleeves are cut out really nice um, so they are adjustable if you want to wear gloves or something with these you can simply adjust the velcro on them. 
This jacket does have pit zips in here, so if you're looking to dump a lot of heat, if it gets hot, or just for extra ventilation in through here, these pit zips are awesome. All of the zippers on this jacket are all waterproof, okay? Um, the pit zips, there's two pockets here on the sides. Now the pockets here on the sides are a little unique. Usually they're, they're down here. These are up higher, a little bit higher, but they are nice um, big deep pockets and, and it is comfortable. They are comfortable to, to put your hands in. It's not a big deal. Just you're up a little bit higher than you would be having them down here. But they, they are nice pockets here. Again, they are all waterproof zips. Also has a waterproof um, zipper pocket here on the chest. So this is nice for climbing, right? You're up there climbing. It's nice having these chest pockets where, you know, if you're up holding the rope, you can just pull right in here into your pocket and get what you need. So definitely has a little climbing appeal right here. Um, it has inside the jacket, let me just pop this off. Um, it has a pocket, zippered pocket here on the, the right hand side. Um, it's a decent little pocket, nothing huge, but it's a nice little pocket. This side is nothing, okay? So it's just the one pocket here on the inside. Um, the jacket has a pretty large flap here coming up the, the zipper to help uh, keep out any, you know, rain, water, weather, wind, whatever. Um, it does a nice flap here on the inside of the zipper, so it's protected. Also on the very bottom, there is a button. Okay, there's a button right here on the bottom, so when you zip it up, you can button it and help hold it together on the bottom. And the other thing with this jacket, let me zip this up, which is another nice feature for venting, is once you button up the bottom here, there it is, it has a double zipper. So you can unzip it, open it up, and still be, you know, tighten on the bottom and it's not like flapping around on you in the wind <laughs> all right so pretty cool nice double zipper here it also has let me top this button I'll open this up again it also has um, nice big um, cinches here on the bottom draw cords on the bottom here on each side that you can pull the whole uh, jacket up tight around you to keep that cold air wind and snow from coming up in the jacket um, all the seams in here, yes, of course, they're taped. Everything is taped. This jacket is built really, really well. Again, this is a higher end jacket and it's a really quality piece. The Gore-Tex Pro fabric on here, or membrane, basically is a very breathable membrane. So Gore-Tex Pro has, they call most rugged and they have most breathable. This is most breathable but it has two different weights. It has an 80 denier uh, weight on the sleeves and up over the shoulders and just slightly down the back here. And it has a 40 denier weight fabric throughout the body. So we're giving it nice durability and strength in areas that are more prone to abrasion and, and you know, <laughs> getting knocked around a little bit while the body itself is a little lighter and a little more breathable. All right, now when you say Gore-Tex fabric is breathable, um, yeah, it is breathable. It does allow moisture vapor out, but it can still get kind of clammy in here. But when it comes to a generic jacket off of the shelf, like a rain jacket at Walmart or, you know, at the mall, all right, that's gonna feel like you're wearing a hefty garbage bag on top of you compared to this. So these definitely are breathable, but having these pit zips, the double zippers to vent and allow hot air out and more you know, ventilation through this jacket is awesome. Um, now, the hood on here is a helmet compatible hood. It's a rather large hood, okay? Let me zip this up. All right, it's a large hood. It's meant for mountain activities. It's meant to be worn over a helmet. It's meant to be worn 
over an, a helmet with an insulated hood on top of it and then this hood on top of that. So it definitely is a nice big hood. There's nice adjustments here on the back. There's a pull cord adjustment on the back. And there's two pull cords here in the front to help cinch down around the, the, the face. There is a nice brim on the front of this hood. It's hard to see here. Um, there's a nice brim in the front here that helps the water run off the front so it's not down in your face. Obviously, the, the piece in the front here is nice and high, and when you pull all this tight, you know, it will cinch up nice around your head, even if you're not wearing a helmet. But it does give you that ability to put a helmet on <laughs> with another jacket underneath it and, and cover up the whole thing. Now this hood also has another little feature here that I'll show you. It's pretty unique. Um, let me do this Velcro, get my hands out. Um, it has what they call a stowable hood. Okay? So inside this jacket, okay, there's this little flap right up top here. Okay? Now this flap, it just kind of hangs here. It looks like a little tongue. And it has a Velcro thing where it folds up and it holds in place. But basically what happens here is this hood can fold up, roll up, and on the back of the hood is a Velcro strip. So this little tongue can come over the top and Velcro around here, and it holds the hood in place so that you can kind of roll it and, and keep it kind of stowed away so that it's not flapping around on your back if it's windy out or something and you, you don't need a hood. Okay, so it's kind of a nice little addition. All right, it's kind of a cool little thing back here. Um, honestly, as of right now, it's, this is about the only jacket that I know of that I've seen <laughs> that has that. So that's a pretty cool little feature here. Um, so yeah, so that's this jacket. Um, let me open this back up again. It's easy to do. Again, you just pull a little Velcro off, unroll your hood, and you're all set, and you're good to go again. Um, now, getting into some uh, layering here with this. Um, obviously, like I said, there is room underneath these hard shells for layers. That's what they're meant for, right? They're meant to be a protective outer coating on top of all your other pieces. So, I'll show you here just quickly how it fits with some other jackets. So this is the Rab Cirrus Alpine jacket. Alpine simply means in Rab terms that it has a hood, okay? So this is a just a very common synthetically insulated jacket. It's a lightweight jacket, kind of like that medium weight when it comes to insulation pieces, right? You have really super light, super lightweight insulated pieces, kind of those medium ones and then the heavier winter ones. This is like a medium kind of insulated jacket. So this will fit underneath here without any problems at all. And it's actually a really nice little combination because when you put a hard shell like this on top of a synthetically or down insulated jacket, it helps to add a little more warmth. It makes this whole thing warmer because you're holding in that heat and you are blocking wind, right? You're blocking the wind, you're blocking the rain, everything. So you can see how this fits, right? With this jacket on underneath, it's actually, quite comfortable, it's perfect. I mean, it's, there's absolutely no problems at all. Um, with the hoods, you can see what I'm saying. The hood on the hard shell will go over this hood without any problems. You can zip it right up. Okay, so that's um, the Latak Mountain Vortex Pro jacket with the Rab Cirrus Alpine synthetically insulated jacket. 
Now I'm going to throw on the Arterex jacket here. The Arterex jacket I just brought down here is a little heavier weight, more of a winter, colder weather, kind of do anything, go everywhere, down insulated jacket. So this jacket is a little more puffy, <laughs> puffy. Um, definitely a warmer jacket than the Cirrus is. Um, but this is this is a really nice jacket too. Um, <laughs> one I wear a lot in the winter, just because. But we can throw this hard shell over top of this too without any problems. This fits really nice. Pull the hood up. Zip this up here. Okay, and we're good to go. All right, so again, this is a puffier, heavier weight down insulated jacket underneath here, and it still fits without any problems. Um, it's, I still have a little bit of room, like my sleeves are not like tight, but it's certainly filling out the jacket now. This um, hard shell, the Latak definitely fits a lot more comfortably now, right? It's not so loose and baggy on me like it was when I was just wearing a t-shirt. So with this down jacket on, it definitely fills out nice. And this is, you know, the way this jacket's supposed to be warm. Up in the mountains, cold weather, snow, ice, sleet, heavy rain, pouring rain, this is gonna protect you. Okay, and you can see the hoods together here now. Very nice, right? No problem here with the hoods. Wraps up nice. I can cinch it up in the back and draw it all nice and tight and close. Awesome. Really nice jacket. Like, I really like this, this Rab Latak Mountain uh, Gore-Tex Pro hard shell. Um, I have several hard shells from Arteryx that I own. Um, this is right up there with all the Arteryx stuff, absolutely. This is a really, really nice jacket with a lot of bells and whistles. Um, like I said, it's a higher end jacket um, when it comes to price, when it comes to the features, you're getting what you pay for. This is a really, really nice jacket for its price and just all around what you're getting here is a really nice quality piece. Really impressed. So just keep in mind too, you know, with some of these Gore-Tex rain jackets that the Gore-Tex is a membrane that keeps you windproof and waterproof. So sometimes whether it's the lightest, cheapest Gore-Tex jacket or the heaviest, you know, most expensive Gore-Tex jacket, they're still gonna keep you just as waterproof and just as windproof, no matter you know what the price of it is. The difference in the price is the basically all the bells and whistles, right? All of its features and the weight of the jacket, okay? A really lightweight, like pack light Gore-Tex jacket is gonna be a lot lighter, right? Than a 80 or 100 denier you know, Gore-Tex shell would be. So just as waterproof, just as rainproof, whether it's a $200 jacket or a $800 jacket. Um, but it's the features, the bells and whistles, the fit, the durability, the breathability of it that all changes as you get up in price. And this, this jacket is up there on the top. This is a really, really nice jacket. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, I've going on long enough here, but I think you got a pretty good idea of what this jacket's all about. Uh, you can see its fit, um, how it all goes. Like I said, I am six foot two, 215 pounds. This is a size extra large. Everything here is a size extra large on me. So that should give you a good reference. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Again, take some time, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. I've got a ton of videos for you guys, so um, you know there's a lot of stuff here for you. And use those playlists to help navigate around and find what you're looking for. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back soon in another video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.